Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of c if we have c cubed divided by c is equals to 0 and we solve this problem for all the values of c or all the roots of c. So here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are satisfied our given question statement or which of the roots are solution of the given equation and which of the roots are extraneous root. Further we solve this problem for two methods. Uh, I hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and uh, in the first method uh, we need uh, to uh, use here the nice exponential law you know about that if we have uh, a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n and then it will be written as a to the power of m minus n so here you remember one thing is that uh, we move our smaller exponent towards the bigger or largest exponent uh, and now here in the same pattern if you focus on the exponents of these two terms you see here our smaller exponent is 1 and bigger exponent is 3 so we move 1 towards 3 okay according to uh, this exponent law uh, so we write here our uh, above equation as in this form so this is c to the power of 3 minus 1 is equals to 0 so here we easily get the value of c and you see here this is 3 minus 1 becomes 2 is equals to 0 so if c square is equals to 0 uh, this means that we need to take the square root on both of the sides in order to remove this 2 and it will be written as in this form. So you see here this 2 and this square root are gone and here we easily get the value of c is equals to we know that a square root of 0 is equals to 0. From first method we easily get the value of c is equals to 0 uh, and uh, here in the next step uh, we need to uh, verify this value of c and we will check that is this value of c be the solution of the given equation or is this value of c be the extraneous root. So for verification of uh, the value of c we will put this value of c into the given question statement and first we copy down given question statement here it is c cubed divided by c is equals to 0 and now here we substitute this value of c on both of the sides so when you put c into the numerator side it will become 0 cubed divided by 0 is equals to 0 and now you see here that 0 cubed is equals to 0 divided by 0 is equals to 0 so here uh, we very well know about uh, 0 over 0 form it is usually called that it is the uh, indeterminate form okay so if this is the indeterminate form uh, or in other words we say that uh, it is undefined so if this is undefined uh, so it means that uh, both of the sides are not equal uh, so here we conclude about the value of c is equal to 0 is that c is equals to 0 be the extraneous root of the given equation okay so here i can just say in the start of the problem that i can explain the term extraneous root at the end so that now here i can explain the term extraneous root or i, I can just give you the difference between solution and extraneous root so the root uh, which is satisfied over given question statement is called the solution of that equation and the roots which does not satisfy our given question statement is called the extraneous root and in this case uh, the value of c is equals to 0 be the extraneous root and here uh, the final conclusion about the solution of this problem is that uh, we uh, just say that uh, this equation has no solution because we cannot find any value of a uh, which is satisfied our given question statement so in the first method we conclude that uh, this equation has no solution and and now here in the next step uh, we move towards our uh, second method uh, and in second method uh, we need uh, to copy down given question statement here 
so the given question statement is that c cubed divided by c is equals to zero this is the our given question statement and in the second method i can just give you uh, a smart technique uh, to find uh, the value of c sharper uh, so here uh, you focus in the right hand side and you see here the denominator of this term is one and now we need to cross multiply the terms and when we multiply one with the c cube it will be written as one multiplied by c cube equals to we multiply c with zero and it will becomes zero multiplied by c and now uh, you see here one times of c cubed is equals to c cubed and zero times of c is equals to zero and further in the next step uh, you see here for the values of c uh, we need to take a cube root on both of the sides in order to remove this three sign uh, so that we will take cube root on both of the sides and you see here this three and this cube root are gone and we will get here the value of c is equals to this is uh, cube root of zero becomes zero so in second method we also get the value of c is equals to zero but in the first method we already verified that uh, this value is not satisfied over given question statement uh, so uh, this is uh, uh, not uh, the solution of given equation okay because it is not satisfied over given question statement it is the extraneous root so we finally conclude, conclude that our given uh, question or given equation has no solution this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos